don't twist scripture to fit your little you know what just just go seriously go you're the reason why christians are getting their their butts handed to them you want to be going to love the world so much then go love them again bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for you scripture twisting jezebel Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for. All right, just going to show more proof of the fact that Rich Pankowski is is to be marked and avoided. And the fact that this guy has not been born again, plain and simple, okay? And just be warned, there's gonna be some uh, very vexing stuff. I'm gonna try to sh limit how much of it is even shown on the screen because this guy is a complete pervert as far as I'm concerned. Um, think of what Rich Minkowski is at. Uh, I'll just get, I'll just cut to the point, is that he'll share all kinds of disgusting, vexing imagery on his Facebook page. Just just go on his Facebook page, just scroll down, and he's sharing all these filthy pictures of these, these drag queens and all this other stuff and all these, you know, I mean, disgusting, just disgusting perversions and just all kinds of stuff that really no no saint ought to be seeing with their eyes you know it's just that plain and simple under the guise of rebuking it you know I've, i personally have a theory the fact that you know and the thing about rich Minkowski is that he's so obsessed with the sodomites that it's borderline weird i mean it's like a westboro baptist church style obsession to where to the point where pretty much anybody who rebukes him is accused of being a sodomite you know and I found quite often, and by the way, too, for the record, I have no issue with rebuking the wicked sins of the sodomites, the, the disgusting acts that they do. But when you just obsess over it like these guys, there's some cause for questions there. And most of the time, most cases I've seen, people who are obsessed over it tend to have those kind of leanings themselves, meaning they kind of desire a bit of that themselves, plain and simple. Because, again, no issue with, with going against the sins of the sodomites. But when you just hyper obsess over it like these guys do, there's some weird stuff going on there behind closed doors. But not going to get too much in that in this video. But uh, be warned, there's going to be some very vexing imagery. Because this guy, like I said, is a filthy, disgusting pervert. And I don't care what anyone says. He has not been born again, plain and simple. Why do I say that? Look at this filth that he's sharing on his Facebook page. His Christian Facebook page. I'm not even going to you know, browse too much on that, quite frankly. Because I think you've seen enough. I mean, why would you share that? And, and second of all, why are you not being vexed by all this stuff? You know, it's bad enough that you're sharing it, but why, you know, that someone with the Holy Spirit will be vexed by, by just seeing that kind of stuff. I mean, seriously, when I saw that picture, I, I wasn't ready just to see here you're vomiting. I was ready just to throw up when I saw that. It's disgusting and filthy. You know, I've always found it weird how all these, and I was saying this to Eric Love last night. I find it really weird how, uh, and by the way, too, he's, his last name is Love. So, you know, because I know Rich Pinkowski or, or one of his followers implied that I'm some homosexual lover of, of Eric. You know, so just wanted to point that out. His last name is Love, so I'm not saying like, you know, because again, these guys are a bunch of filthy perverts. That's one of the first things that comes to their mind when they when they see stuff like that, you know, because again, I, I do have theories that some of these guys could be sodomites themselves, but it could just, which explains their just complete obsession with it. But, you know, why are these guys not being vexed? These guys, I was saying this to Eric last night, you know, these guys, they go to the, to, to the uh, strip clubs, they go to the nude beaches, they go to Mardi Gras, all these filthy, disgusting places, and they don't appear at all vexed. I mean... I've observed some of these sodomite pride rallies, and I'm a, I'm about ready to vomit just being just by being there for a few minutes. It's disgusting. But these guys can be there for hours and hours and not appear at all like like look sick or kind of look disgusted. There's some problems there, and like I said, you know, I don't believe Rich is like Rich has clearly not been born again, plain and simple. And here's why: First Peter chapter two, verse seven to eight. Okay, and even back on the Old Testament, this is the response of a truly saved person with the Holy Ghost when they see this kind of stuff. Which is that plain and simple. First Peter chapter or Second Peter chapter two verse seven and eight, and delivered just law, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. But somehow, uh, Rich Pinkowski can post this kind of stuff every single day on his Facebook page, and not only you know himself not be vexed, but his followers not appear at all vexed either. Why? Well, because they're ministers of Satan coming as ministers of righteousness, plain and simple. You see, a Satanist is not someone like Marilyn Manson or, or Anton LaVey. Okay, those guys, I'm sure they, 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 they were worshiping Satan in their own way, plain and simple. But a true Satanist is someone who appears as a minister of God. And you read about that in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses, uh, I think it's 13 to 15 it talks about. You know how Satan appears as an angel of light and his ministers appear as the ministers of righteousness? Yeah, that's Rich Pinkowski. You know, and they may speak some truth, but, you know... 
it's, it's part of the wolf in sheep's clothing. They're deceiving people. And another thing I want to cover, another scripture I want to cover on this whole issue, because, there's, again, there's nothing wrong with reproving the works of darkness. These guys love quoting Ephesians 5.11, but they also violate the next verse. And I'm going to show how. So here it is, Ephesians 5.11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Which, again, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with that. But look at verse 12. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But you watch these guys' videos, they'll go into graphic detail of how of the filthy acts behind closed doors that the sodomites do. They'll go into graphic detail of all this disgusting garbage. You know, it's a shame even to speak, under the guise of, of repu reproving them, it's a shame even to speak of those things which are, which are done to them in secret. You know, and notice verse 13. But all things that are approved are made manifest by the light, for whatsoever doth make manifest is light. And that's the thing about Benkowski, you know, when uh, Eric exposed him, Pinkowski showed his true colors. Why? Because Pinkowski doesn't like having his works of darkness revealed. You see, if Pinkowski was in the right, because you, you can watch some of Eric's videos. Um, there's, a, there's a channel called Pope Rich Pinkowski Exposed. It has some of the videos Eric has done. Uh, Pinkowski has, has gone to a, just extreme lengths. He's made fake Facebook pages, fake YouTube accounts, all kinds of stuff. You see, these aren't the actions of somebody who is in the right. This, these are the actions of somebody who knows they're wrong, knows they're guilty, and is trying to do damage control and fight against it. Why? Well, because Benkowski is a lost minister of Satan who doesn't like having his works of darkness exposed. And the fact that he can post all this disgusting garbage on his Facebook page every single day and, you know, not appear at all vexed by it. Yeah, this guy does not have the Holy Ghost. He's not been born again, plain and simple. So Mark and avoid Pankowski. Again, I'll be doing many more videos on this guy in the future. Uh, I'll be doing as many as I can, quite frankly, because this guy is a dangerous wolf in sheep's clothing. He's full of pride, too, by the way. You just look through his page, just oozing out of him all the time. Just pride and arrogance. Yeah, kind of like his father, Satan, in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 9 through 11. So anyway, don't be deceived by Rich Pankowski, and don't be deceived by his warriors for Antichrist ministries. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I was a womanizer. I was, I, you know, I was a drug addict. I did drugs. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I hurt women. I lied to them. I slept with everybody and their brother. 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 I Mark. Thank you.